Hi everyone, it's Alexandra back again for another video. And in today's video, this is going to be my one month tattoo update. So on this day, one month ago, I got my very first tattoo done. And I have to say that was a very interesting day for me, but it was also a really amazing day that I'll never forget. So if you guys hadn't seen my videos talking about my tattoo, I basically did this about um, three, two, three weeks ago, I did a video um, basically my surprise reveal because I didn't tell you guys anything about it until that day So if you guys haven't seen that one, you should see that and then also about a week later I think it was something like that. I did my um, One week tattoo update. So the week after I got my tattoo done. I just um, Discussed with you guys basically how the first week of having my tattoo was going and hopefully how it was gonna go in the near time I Was gonna move forward Sorry, I'm like trying to think while trying to know what to say. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys all sorts of different things. You know, how my tattoo has been, you know, doing, how it's been looking for the past month, and do I consider getting another one anytime soon. So, I don't want to try and make this too, too long, but let's just get started. So anyways, on this day, one month ago, so on January 17th, 2017, was the day I got my very first tattoo done. It was also in between a little bit of a late birthday present. Um, I got it pretty much about um, four days after my 19th birthday. So I am 19, for those of you who are wondering. Um, I know I don't look it, but I am. I turned 19 on January 13th, so that was my 19th birthday. And basically, um, that day, it was very special when I got my tattoo done. Um, it was just me and my mom, because my mom was driving for me, so she was the one that was going to bring me, and she wanted to take pictures um, of me getting it done, because I did it for her about six months ago when my mom got her newest one, even though it's not really new anymore, because she's had it for six months now. Um, but basically, um, I didn't care if she took pictures, I just wanted her to wait until it was fully finished to upload the pictures, rather than just posting one by one at a time, because I think that would have been just a little annoying if she just did that. But, anyway, so that day, um, I got it done. I was really just very happy, a little anxious, but I was very excited the day I got it done. And, um, I remember when I got it done, the guy that did my tattoo, um, I always put the date on here too, just because um, this was my little sketch. He actually did, well, I didn't sketch it out. The guy that did mine, he did this actually, which was really cool. And then on the back of it, I just put the date I got it done. So that way I'll always remember the day I got it done. So I always have that in memory. So I don't ever forget. But anyways, so that day when I got it done, it was very interesting. I remember when the guy called me back um, to go get it done, I was a little nervous because I was like, okay, how's this going to go? I mean, that day when I um, was going to get it done, I remember at school, I was just um, finishing up my exams for the day because I was t um, taking midterm exams that same day. But thankfully, I finished my exams um, by the time I got my tattoo done, so that was really good. But I have to say, that was very interesting how that went, because I had to go home and study that same night, and thank goodness it was only one more, like, two, one to two more days of exams, and thankfully for those last two days of exams, I only had to take one exam, so I knew that right away I was going to be okay. But that day when I got it done, I was just really happy, and I stayed still so bad, like, I was like this the entire time. I got it done, and I'll show you guys more of my tattoo in just a few minutes, but anyways, um, I just remember, you know, like, once he put in the, um, needle, and it didn't even hurt me, like, I didn't flinch, I didn't go, like, like, sometimes I feel like when you're near a needle or something, I always feel like you're gonna flinch a little bit, or quite a lot, it depends on your pain tolerance, and for me, I usually have a very, very bad pain tolerance. I have to say, I have had bad experiences in the past where when I've gotten shots done, like, I just want to squeeze my hand so bad, but because I got my tattoo done, I had to leave my arm so flat that I couldn't move it at all, because if I moved just, even just a tiny bit, it would have been ruined. My tattoo would have been ruined, and that would have been the worst, because if you guys have never gotten a tattoo done and you don't know a whole lot about it, basically, these things are fleshed in their for life, like, unless you want to get it removed, which, that's even more serious, because, whew, I don't even want to, I don't even want to think about that, 
But anyways, so getting my tag two done, um, it didn't even take long either. Like my mom, she told me this a little while after, but she ended up recording me on Facebook Live and I did not even notice until she told me when my tag two was done and she said a lot of people were saying that I was brave. Mostly like her friends on Facebook were saying I was brave. And I was just like, you know, that's pretty interesting. I'm glad these people are thinking I'm a brave person because I was. I was brave getting it done. They said for as small as I look, because I am tiny, people looked at me and they're just like, oh my god, she is so tiny, but oh my goodness, she is so calm. It's like, it's like no one could really like, snap me out of it like thinking like yeah alexandra you're getting a tattoo done it's like you're getting a tattoo alexandra hello we're looking at you and it's like i was like this just like staring off in space like getting it done so it was actually really good so well there was a few times actually when i got was getting my tattoo done i had to move my fingers because sometimes after a while my fingers tend to fall asleep and that is the worst when i keep my think my arm or my fingers still for a long period of time I feel like they're gonna fall asleep and I was actually surprised they didn't fall asleep that time so that was a relief but oh my gosh that was probably I have to say one of the greatest experiences ever in my life and I really think I am considering getting another one I'm really thinking about it and I've been thinking about this for a while now and I'm really thinking about getting another one in probably a couple months I'm not sure when in a couple months but hopefully before the end of 2017, I will get another one. I don't know exactly when the date will be, but you guys will have to stick around so you guys can know when that is. Um, I'm not going to make a video really talking about the day I'm going to get it done. I'll probably make like another update on my um, social medias. Um, so if you guys want to see that and you guys can follow me basically on my social medias, those are always down in the description. So I just wanted to say that too. You guys can always feel free to follow me if you guys want to see my updates. That's where I mostly updated my tattoo and stuff like that first. But anyways, after I got my tattoo done, it, like I said, it was only like an hour and a half long, the most. And I got there pretty m midway through the afternoon. It wasn't too early or too late in the day. It was actually a really good time when I got it done. And um, after it was done, I got it done. Um, it was all completed and finished around 5.30, 5.40-ish, something like that. So it was around dinner time when um, the guy that did my tag two was finally finished. Um, and I just fell in love with it. It was amazing. My mom took a picture of it right after it was done because after she done was done putting on putting on like after she was done putting on the picture on her Facebook she actually was watching the guy put the plastic wrap and the tape all over my arm so this thing will not get infected because for a couple hours I did have to put tape and stuff on it and I have to say I was probably nervous as heck to do that because I had to wear my jacket. It was raining that day, and I was worried it was going to get ruined, but thankfully, the plastic wrap and the tape were holding it very well, and nothing got ruined. Thank goodness. So, after I was done getting my tattoo done and all that, my mom asked me a bunch of things, you know, asking me um, if I loved it, like, would I consider getting another one, and I, I told her I loved it, and I was thinking about getting another one, but I just didn't know when. Um, so after that, my mom and I headed across the street, because right across the street, or a couple, like, about two minutes away from where I got my tattoo done, we headed to the dollar store, which my mom ran in. I just sat in the car, waiting for her for about five minutes, and in the meantime, she was just picking up ointment, because so uh, I can, um, have it so I can keep my tattoo clean and all that, so I waited for her in the meantime. So in the meantime, while she was in the store, I called my boyfriend up, and I explained to him about my tattoo, because... Um, he was really busy that day, so I couldn't see him, um, well, he didn't see me the day I got it done, actually, like, that evening when I was getting it done, but I did, um, call him about it, and he was actually happy for me, which was really good. Um, we ended up calling each other a couple hours later, and that's when he saw it, and he instantly liked it, which was really good. Um, I told a few of my other friends, I started sending them pictures, and I had to tell them the story behind it, too, because not a lot of my friends knew the story behind why I decided to get this tattoo, so I explained to them, and my boyfriend already knew about it, so he already knew why I wanted it, and he just said that I was a really brave girl, and he just said, babe, you're just, I'm very proud of you for doing this, and it really meant a lot. It really just made me a happy person. Um, so after I was done with all that stuff, I posted it on my Instagram, and some people were just leaving me sweet things saying, oh my god, it's beautiful. They loved it. It was just the best feeling ever. And after that, I went to go see my Nana because she wanted to see it that day more than anything. She wanted to see it so bad. 
Um, she knew I had to go back home eventually to go study for exams and stuff like that, but she was wanting to spend time with me for a while, and she fell in love with it. As soon as she saw it, she was just like, oh my gosh, like, I love it. And it was just amazing to know that someone I care about and <laughs> that cares about me too just is amazing. Like, everyone that was, like, supporting me throughout this entire time was just amazing. I am so lucky. I have so many amazing people in my life who care about me and just love me the way I am, which is amazing. So I'll never forget the day I got it done. And honestly, um, you know, thinking like three weeks ago, the first week was rough because I was healing from it. It was a little painful, but you know, I'm here now four weeks later and it's fully healed now. And I am happy to have it. And yeah, I'm I'm probably thinking for my next one, all the tattoos, if I decide to get quite a bit, not a lot, not a lot, I probably just want to get at least maybe two or three more, I think, I don't know, but all I'm going to say, all I'm going to say too is that I only want to get tattoos that mean something to me, I want to get something that's really special to me and something I'm always going to remember, I mean, I know over time they do fade because I know my mom, she, her very first one, she's had for a long time now, hers faded eventually, she's had it for, um, 20 plus years, so she's had hers for a long time, but she has many other ones, too, that are obviously a little older, but they still look really good, too. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me talking about my, um, tattoo and all that. That was me, basically my one-month update, just telling you guys how the first month has been, explaining how it was the day I got it done, and basically the last couple days after I had it done, too, it was awesome. I mean, just the last, like, few days of the first week were rough because it was healing and it did hurt, even though I had to put my ointment on it, because even though I did put on ointment, it still hurt. But anyways, the last couple weeks, though, like the past two, three weeks now, it's been amazing. It's just been healing so well, and I'm in love with it. Every single day, I'm just very happy that I have it. But anyway, before I go, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like right now, fully healed. Okay. Sorry, I'm in my pajamas because it's really around the time where I want my pajamas on. But anyway, so that is my talk to you guys. It just says alopecia areata, basically what it says, what the ribbon says, and then there's just purple violets on the sides. And basically, if you guys want to know more about what alopecia areata is, then definitely just look it up. Um, there's so many different things about it. But basically, for my reason behind it, that it's a basically an autoimmune disease and affects the red and white blood cells. But you guys can always do more research if you guys would like. There's no cure for this disease, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to have it for the rest of my life from time to time. I do lose my hair, but I know I'm strong at the end, and I'm just amazed on how good my hair is looking right now. So, looking really good. <laughs> but anyways, this was a really long video. I didn't really anticipate it to be this long, but it was long. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. I will hopefully have a few new videos up next week. I'm trying to get videos up next week because I have a week off from school, so I can try to get more videos up for you guys. And yeah. Anyways, enough with my little rambles. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Google+, and Snapchat if you guys want to see my life when I'm not uploading a video. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye, everyone. Peace. Peace out with my tattoo. Wee! Okay, I didn't kiss my tattoo, but anyway. Bye, guys.